Well, as Hurricane Florence targets the Carolinas, many federal resources are preparing to help with disaster relief. That brings up the question of whether this will affect local counties still waiting for FEMA money to reimburse them for the millions they spent on cleanup and recovery after Hurricanes Matthew and Irma. So, News for Jack's reporter Scott Johnson, he's spoken with local governments across our area about how much federal disaster relief money they are still waiting for. I'm here at the Shands Pier in Clay County, still destroyed because of Matthew and Irma. And now, years later, it still hasn't been repaired. That's because local governments are still waiting on the feds to pay some of the backlogged bills they had to foot during Irma and Matthew. Counties from Duval to Putnam saw damage like this, flooding, trees toppled, and debris everywhere. I've learned that most every homeowner who suffered damage in Hurricanes Irma and Matthew received federal help, but local governments that spent millions are still waiting for reimbursement. We finally got our, our final checks from Hurricane Matthew just a few months ago. Um, Hurricane Irma, which we were right in the area of about $12.3 million worth of damages and response costs. Uh, we've been working the multitude of those projects. We've gotten right at about $380,000 of that back. John Ward runs emergency management for Clay County. He says they've only received payment for a small amount of damage Irma cost them. In Jacksonville, city government spent $70 million on Irma cleanup. The city is yet to receive any money. St. John's is in the same boat. It paid out around $12 million. Jack's Beach still needs about the $1.5 million it spent on Irma cleanup. And Putnam County, they got some money back, around $600,000 from the $7.8 million the storm cost. And these counties are still waiting for the feds to reimburse them for some of the damages even from Matthew in 2016. Are you concerned at all this gets delayed even more? Uh, so I think the concern is always there. Uh, we've been working, we've had uh, great partnerships with our partners from FEMA and uh, been working very aggressively on getting that. But I think any time, especially when you see the magnitude of what Florence is going to bring in. And so far, FEMA has approved $242 million to go to local governments for Irma-related problems. But, of course, they're still waiting on a lot of that money to finally be paid. In Clay County, Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.